Hi there. My name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. In the last lecture in the series on field programmable analog arrays pioneered by my colleague Jennifer Hassler, I looked at some of the examples that Dr. Hassler's group provided. Here I want to look at some more examples. So I'm going to start up the Ubuntu image that runs their tool set. In the first video in this series, I showed how to install this image along with VirtualBox, et cetera, et cetera. The password for this image is the word reverse. Let me make sure I spelled that correctly. All lowercase. Let's see. Go away, go away. Now, very important, when we start up the tool set by clicking on this CADSP icon, click it and then wait. There's nothing that checks to see if this script is already running. So just having Scilab come up isn't enough. We wait a little bit more, and then some additional tools should appear in the upper right. There we go, or middle, something like that. Here's the actual tool set. Now, previously I looked at a bunch of these examples in the simulations. Now what I want to do is to try out some of the things that are actually the on-chip demonstration files. Not all of these are going to run. There's a non-overlapping Venn diagram of examples that run in the hardware and examples that run in the simulations. There are some simulations that won't run on the hardware, I think. I'm not sure about that. And there's some examples that will run on the hardware, but not in the simulation. They haven't gotten every single piece of the hardware in the simulator yet. Although I'm sure as time progresses, they'll add more and more features to the simulator. Okay, so let's just see what runs here. So these are examples that are meant to run on the actual board. Let's see if they'll simulate or not. DAC to ADC. Okay, do I want to create my own waveform? No, I want to use whatever's built in. All right, let's run that. So it looks like in simulation, we can send something out of our simulated DAC and read it by our simulated analog to digital converter. Of course, on the actual board, that would be a good kind of test you would want to do. Let's see. We also have a low pass filter. Let's use whatever the built in is. Let's run the simulation. It looks like we're putting in some sort of pulse and that pulse is getting filtered. So that's nice. Let's see. C4, okay. So this is probably some sort of four capacitor filter, I'm guessing. Let's run this example and see what happens. Not enough information to find port type. I will try to find the problem. Highlighted blocks have connected ports. What is, uh, don't know. Let's see, okay. Unknown block. Ah, so I'm going to guess that this is something that the simulator isn't set up to handle, but would run on an actual board if I can get a hold on an actual board. Okay, so let's get rid of that. I tried the rest of the on-chip examples, and alas, none of them seem to want to simulate, so that makes this a pretty short video.